All right, hello everyone. This is a quick tutorial on how to set up your Google Alerts. So I use Google Alerts to help me find content that is specific and related to my target clients. So this is a good way to get articles and news updates, um, anything related to your particular client. So when you're thinking about what to post on social media, this will give you some things to fill in of course, you want to have your own posts, um, but you also want to post things that are relevant to your clients and also that is useful or entertaining or informative. Um, so this is a way to find those filler, uh, that filler content that um, is shareable. So one of the first things you want to do is go to your Google account. Um, I think mine is open here. So make sure that you're signed into Google. So I'm signed in here. Um, then you're going to want to open a tab and type in google.com alerts. And you're going to get this little box at the top of the screen that says create an alert about. Um, so I'm going to create an alert about domestic violence. Um, and I'm going to say create. I'm going to create an alert about um, stay-at-home moms. And I'm going to create an alert about Boston Terriers. So these are random right now, but I'm giving you an idea. Um, but let's say you are a hairstylist and you want to give people tips on um, the latest color trends or salon news, things like that. You can type in hair salons or hair trends um, and create an alert for that. I'm not going to do that. And then here is, uh, for instance, it'll give you like five hair trends, even worse than the man buns. <laughs> so this is kind of funny and maybe that's something that will appeal to your clients. So once you have those alerts set up, um, when you open your Google account and you go into your mail, your Gmail, those alerts, and it takes like 24 hours for that to populate, but those alerts will start coming into your um, Google account. I have a ton of different ones um, because I, um, I post not only about branding and um, mom businesses or mompreneurs, but I also, you know, I cater to women, so I have women entrepreneurs, um, parenting because um, in addition to posting about um, tips for moms for their business, I also post things that could be useful as a parent, such as, you know, how to organize your schedule or um, anything that I might find interesting. And there might be some kind of something trending that would be great to share. So with the Google Alerts, I'll click on mom business um, and I'll look here and I'll see if there's anything relevant I'm gonna sign into one. We'll go back, but I'll click and see if there's something relevant to my demographic. So, women entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs applaud sole source contracting authority. Maybe that's something I want to post. Or, uh, do you need a shrink or a mentor, and what's the difference? <laughs> and this is aimed at entrepreneurs. Um, it's an annual event that brings women entrepreneurs together. I could click into any of these articles and see if it's something that I want to post. Um, so you don't want to overwhelm yourself and have 20,000 alerts because then you have to go through each of them to see what's relevant. So here's a great one. Don't let your marketing ruin your content. So this is by Forbes and I would click here and say, um, you know, I read the articles because you never know what you're posting and you want to make sure that it jives with your brand. Um, plus you want to be an educated, uh, expert advisor when you're sharing information, you don't just want to share anything random. So I do check. Um, I have a lenient, uh, profanity <laughs> on my site. I don't mind if it says like crap or shit or whatever, like this says content is crap. And that wouldn't bother me, um, but I do check and make sure it's not anything like too crazy or lewd. So I would read the article. 
Um, and then the second part of this is I would schedule it. Um, I'm not going to go into the scheduling on this video, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of how to use Google Alerts. Google Alerts are great. Um, it will give you some things you can share. I mean, clearly I can come up to the top of this and tweet it or share it, or I can just copy the link here and paste it in, so in my social media. Um, I will show you a simpler way to do that, but for now, I want you to just understand the concept of setting up Google Alerts. So Google Alerts is a way to get content, additional content on topics that are of interest to your clientele. Um, so I hope this was useful. If you want more information, you can uh, click on my website is sandragwines.com. That's S-A-N-D-R-A-G-U-Y-N-E-S.com. Um, and I have more tips and tricks out there for you for your business. I hope this was helpful and take care.